har oppnådd en astronomisk suksess med sine to foregående albums hartslående og bushfientlige musikk. Men nå som Obama har kommet til makten, vil Green Day gå bort fra de politiske temaene på deres neste album? Jeg vet ikke hva våre fremtidige rekordene er going to være. Jeg tror at på dette punkt, vi kunne skrive the biggest love ballad ever written, and, and it would end up people would take some kind of political theme out of it or something. The, the great thing about music is, is that, you know, it, it, it sounds like a cliche, but I think you can interpret it any way you want. I mean, anyone, everyone's got their own interpretation of what a song is, is for them, you know. I think it's great that like young people get in, in, engaged with, uh, you know, politics and voting, whether they get that for music or Green Day. Do I think Obama deserved a Nobel Peace Prize? Mm, probably not yet. He's only been in office for six months, so it's, uh, I think he uh, needs a little bit more time. <laughs> you should have given the uh, Peace Prize to Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> Fansen måtte vente fem år mellom American Idiot og 21st Century Breakdown, og kom ikke i mål med nye plater før den legendariske produsenten Butch Wig tok tak i Green Days låtmateriale. You know, then it takes a few years to write good records. 21st Century Breakdown wasn't an easy record to make. I don't think any record is, is easy to make. We spent a lot of time, you know, um, writing and rewriting. Butch came in and, and saw us at, you know, uh, really at work. And he was able to make sense of, you know, a lot of music that we had compiled. 21st Century Breakdown inneholder 18 songer, men de hadde hele 45 ferdigskrevne låter å velge mellom. Og skal vi tolke gutta rett, får vi nok aldri høre de resterende låtene i nær fremtid. Um, I'm not sure. We, we're, giving, we're, gonna, we're gonna give them to other bands. Yeah. We're gonna give them to Obama. Det hagler femmer og seksere på konsertene deres som trekker fulle hus over hele verden. Og suksessoppskriften er at de alltid selv har det gøy på scenen. We do whatever the fuck we want all the time. And uh, we're fortunate enough that uh, people actually like it. Our shows are about having a great time. It's a, you know, our shows are about a release. It, it's kind of a form of escapism. You, you get out and then you just come to a Green Day show and you have a, a, a great time and feel carefree and get fucked up and um, maybe take home a message from it. Jay, I can't see